This is Spartan 259. Retro. I'm being held prisoner by the Covenant in enemy territory. I don't know where I am. I only know they're holding me captive at a UNSC base they've taken over. I'm using my armour to broadcast this message on all UNSC frequencies in the hope someone can pinpoint my location. I don't know if it'll work. I don't even know if this transmission will make it past whatever the Covenant used to jam communications. I only know I have to try. I have to let someone know I'm still alive. I need you to come and get me. I'm being guarded by a task force of elites. There are at least half a dozen of them when I was captured, but there may be more. If you can't rescue me, or if I die during a rescue attempt, I want Mubit to take over the GD unit. They're a good unit, and they need someone to lead them through. Wait a minute. Damn, the guards are coming back. They drag me into the interrogation chamber every day. I have to go. If anyone gets this transmission, deliver it to Mubit in the GD unit. He's my second in command, and he's one of the finest soldiers I've ever known. He's tough. Professional. If anyone can rescue me, it's him. Get this message to move it, and he'll know what to do. Yeah! Have some of that, bitch! Think about her? Huh? You want some of this? Move it? Cut it out. This is supposed to be a training exercise. Yeah, and I just made it a live firing training exercise, Fed. <laughs> Don't get yourself killed now. I'm trying to practice my warthog maneuvering skills, not dodge your bloody bullets while you scratch up the paintwork. Hey, look, look, has it ever occurred to you that you might need to manoeuvre your warthog under enemy fire? The government aren't exactly going to let you finish reverse parking while they open fire on you, are they? Yeah, but they wouldn't be shooting at me with a UNSC assault rifle. So shooting me with that doesn't help this training exercise at all. Yeah, but, but... In fact, if they really knew what they were doing, they'd chuck a couple of plasma grenades at me. They're hell on our warthogs. Hey, you know what? You're absolutely right. Hang on a second, I've got some grenades here somewhere. Move it. Hey Philo, what's up? I thought Retro told you not to get too trigger happy while he was away. Yeah, but as second in command, he left me in charge. So I can conduct these training sessions any way I see fit. And the way I see it, the harder we train, the better off we'll be. Maybe, but I don't think Retro wants to return from his mission to find you've been demolishing his warthogs in his absence. Or injuring his troops. Yeah, but a few minor injuries never hurt anyone. It builds character. Besides, it's only fed. You know I can hear you, right? I know it's only fed, mate, but I'm third in command and I'm advising you to avoid using grenades. Aw, oh, do I have to? Yes. By all means, give him a few bruises, but don't completely blow him up. Again, I can hear everything you're saying. You're standing like ten meters away from me. Fine, fine, I'll go easy on him. Good man. Now, pass me that RPG launcher over there. Oh, come on! Jeez, the man really can't take a joke, can he? Move it! Hey, Stabcon. What's going on? You better come down to the comms room, guys. What for? We're picking up a communication. Communications? In the communications room? Madness. I meant, what's it about, Stabs? Just come down, mate. This is something you'll want to hear yourself. If anyone gets this transmission, deliver it to Mubit in the GD unit. He's my second in command, and he's one of the finest soldiers I've ever known. He's tough. Professional. If anyone can rescue me, it's him. Get this message to Mubit, and he'll know what to do. And the transmission ends there. Son of a bitch, I can't believe they captured him. How old's the message, Stabs? Uh, a few days at least. Maybe a week. I can't be sure. Fuck! And they've been torturing him every day. Look, we don't know that. They only said he'd take him to an interrogation chamber. They could just be asking him some questions. Bullshit. It's the Covenant. Interrogation means torture. Why? Why didn't they just kill him? Look, he's a high-ranking Spartan in the UNSC. He knows all sorts of information they can use. Fleet movements, troop deployments, covert operations in Covenant territory, you name it. So what's the plan? We get him back. That's the plan. Stabs, where's this transmission coming from? Uh, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Philo, take it easy. Look, look, the, the signal's degraded to hell and back. It's a minor miracle we've even picked it up. Plus the equipment we're using is on its last legs. Some of our antennas got shot pretty bad during our last mission. 
But there's got to be a way we can trace the signal back to its point of origin. Sure. But not from here. We need better equipment. Like what? Well, a UNSC frigate would be able to trace it. No problem. We don't have a frigate. The nearest ship is 72 hours away at maximum speed. That's three more days Retro will be tortured. That's not an option. What else can we do, Stabs? Well, there is an unmanned relay station across the valley. That should have the right equipment to pinpoint the transmissions. It can triangulate signals up to two sectors away. What, you mean bark this station? It's a hell of a long way away. I know, but it's the only station nearby that can do the job. And it'll be quicker than waiting for the UNSC Central Command to dispatch a ship to us. It's a 12 hour drive to Barclay Station, but that's assuming you can maintain top speed with a warthog. There's some pretty rugged terrain through that valley. Plus, it's another 12 hours back. I can take a Falk and fly right over that terrain. It'll take me half the time. Alright. Fire load, you go. Get to Barclay Station and pinpoint that transmission. Count on it, mate. What should we do in the meantime? Right, we'll use this time to get ready. Plus we're still waiting for that replacement for Spartan 211. Oh yeah? Who's the replacement? Some guy from the 42nd unit called Daniel. He last checked in over an hour ago. Said he'd be here in about 24 hours. Guys, are you sure we can pull this off? The GD unit is pretty small. Retro wasn't even sure how many elites were holding him. They're going to outnumber us. Smaller units are better for infiltrating enemy strongholds. What about getting him out? I mean, we've got one Falcon, but we could use a few more. And a couple of Warthogs for ground support. Gentlemen, follow me. Where are we going, boss? Don't call me that. Retro's the boss. I'm just holding the fort till it gets home. What happened to all that smug talk a little while ago? about being second in command, running training exercises, the kind that involves shooting at me with live ammo. Yeah, it's funny you should mention that, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing for the next 24 hours. Maybe. Shouldn't we save our vehicles for the rescue mission? Like Fed said, we've only got one Falcon, that's already in use. Don't want to risk damaging anything else. On the contrary, my friends. We should risk damaging everything we have at our disposal. Falcons, Warthogs, you name it. The more we push ourselves during training, the more prepared we'll be for the mission. Yeah, but we're not exactly overburdened with hardware at the moment. It's been over a month since the second fleet stopped by to resupply us. Surely now is the time to be conservative with our resources. Well, remember when I said that Retro has knowledge of certain covert operations? Yeah, so? Well, he's not the only one. The second fleet dispatched a couple of frigates to our location last week. Retro and I were the only members of the GD unit to know about it. They came here? What for? Ah, oh, to unload some cargo. They didn't want to risk damaging it while we were on manoeuvres. It was too much extra weight, and Retro said they could dump it here for as long as they wanted. What kind of cargo are we talking about? That! Holy shit! That's been sitting out here all this time? Yep. Dude, you are one sneaky son of a bitch. <laughs> so, Fed, can you repeat your early question? Can we really pull this off? Gentlemen, we are going to pull this off. <laughs> <laughs>